Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I just want to give you guys a status update on a project I was working on. I reached out to the community for some support. I was looking for a plastic good part. It's a striker a brake lock, I believe. It's a cam. And they're really hard to get right now. And Mr. Craig reached out to me. He shipped me one of these parts and it was in perfect condition. I 3D scanned it. I took some measurements. I shipped all of the above over to Pakistan to which I had it professionally modeled in 3D and then I shipped out to California where I'm partnering up with somebody who did a print and uh, the print is coming out beautifully in fact uh, I'll tell you what do I have it here hmm let's see um, anyway Ed Edgardo um, out there in California He's got some 3D printers and he printed one from a, a very rigid resin and uh, the detail looks amazing. The part that came out was fantastic. So let's go ahead and show you what I've got and uh, where, where I started and where I'm at. Alright guys, so this right here is the 3D scanner. Uh, so I have a 3D scanner that I got from the guys over at CBET, the College of Biomedical Equipment Technology. And the good thing about a 3D scanner is it shows you the scale perfectly. And in that, it means the main attributes of the model. Now this is not the best model that I had, but I just whipped it up real quick to show you one of the sample scans that I did. Um, you can see that the holes are full. So you, I need to take measurements of the holes, I need to take measurements of the physical spacing here. But when I did, I sent those pieces uh, of data off to Pakistan and I had somebody professionally 3D model it and this is what I have. So this part right here, um, you see it can move it around in 3D space, looks fantastic. The guy that did the modeling did a beautiful job. So this is a, hard, this is a part that's almost impossible to get right now and I was able to basically get everything together and make another one so what am I gonna do with that well now that I have this I had a version of it printed uh, let's see let's roll up here so y'all can see what some of these look like so we had a version of it printed and you can see this is what it looks like when they're on the printer and the finished part is this guy right here is that not beautiful? So, started with a 3D scan of a part, which gives me my dimensions to within a half a millimeter accuracy to a finished part. How's that? So guys, um, that just goes to show you uh, how social media can help you do business better, faster. So I was able to get a part that's on a known national back order I was able to collect data, send it across the world to somebody that was able to model it for me, send that model over across the country to the California where it was printed for me. And next we're going to do load testing and we're going to compare the printed part to a physical example of a good known part. And then I get Mr. Craig back his uh, good known part uh, so that he can use it on his striker stretchers. There is uh, some hardware modification that's going to be necessary. That is due to the fact that there are riveted on metal straps, uh, the brackets that hold this on. They're riveted on. And I believe that I can get past the rivet by using something called a Chicago screw. Now the dimensions of the Chicago screw are going to be vital because you want it to be a tight fit because any loosey-goose action is not going to be good, especially when you're talking polymers. You want that fit to be nice and tight. Not so tight that it can't move, but so that it's not going to cam or vibrate or anything. So you want it to be nice and tight according to the holes in the model. Now the other thing that I could potentially do if I'm using Chicago screws is I could change the dimensions of the holes, the through holes. So I could actually change them so that they're smaller diameter to which that gives me a tighter fit and it's stronger on the polymer material. So maybe in revision two, I might make it so the through holes are a smaller diameter. We'll see. Anyway, next step, load testing. Just want to share with you guys how a community can come together. We can solve problems. 
outside of the whole OEM realm. I'll test it on one of my own striker stretchers that's not in patient circulation. And uh, we'll do some load testing, maybe some really rough, rough load testing to see if we can break it. If it's made out of nylon, it's going to be tough to break. Hmm. Food for thought, the guys. Thanks for watching.